School of Rock is the world's most revolutionary music school with programs for ages three and up. My career is, is, is odd. I mean, I studied in the UK. I did my degree in fine arts way back in 94. And then I joined a band and did that for like 10, 15 years. And then I had a couple of different really life-changing events. You know, my younger son was diagnosed with Williams syndrome. And then my eldest was diagnosed with autism. That was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back for me. So I kind of regressed and got sad as people do. I took my uh, therapy out into nature. You're in the magnificence of, in, of the environment and it makes you feel small, but you also see those, cha those changes. So you see things decay, you see things grow, you see the seasons come and go, you have light constantly moving, you see the consistency and the impermanence of nature and it lends itself to developing a healthy relationship with the fragility and to reflect on the impermanence, the vulnerability of being human. What basically stabilized plein air as my future was I was diagnosed with a life-threatening condition at the beginning of last year, um, which was a shock. Um, and I didn't feel like I could keep doing the figurative work that I was doing anymore. Being in nature and being exposed on an intuitive level, I think really connects us back to our source. My paintings now, if I'm outdoors, so between 90 minutes and two hours is really all that I should be trying to take on. And that starts from when you choose a scene. You're looking, you're going, okay, well, that's beautiful, but that's way too much. Can't do that in two hours. Or I like this. Is my light going to stay somewhat stable for the next you know, 120 minutes? It's a lot of being able to learn in to read the environment. You know, it's like, it's a bit like surfing. You know, you don't surf a lot in the beginning. You, you sit there going, oh, that was a wave. Okay, I missed that. There's a difference between pleasure and gra gratification. Why I put myself into the uncomfortable situation of trying plein air painting when I had no real idea what I was doing was because I knew that I would get gratification if I could just put my ego aside for a moment and look at the little wins in amongst all of the failings and the, the disasters, which I were in abundance early on, you know? If I could just find those little wins and they started to stack up, you know, the wealth from that growth, that's gratification.